Hi again, I'm my radar meteorologist Matt Pucci with an unusual update. Mount Aloha has erupted. It's the first time in 38 years that the volcano has erupted. The eruption happened at about 11.30 p.m. local time Sunday night. On the left, you see a satellite heat signature from the eruption. On the right, sulfur dioxide. As of 7.30 a.m. Honolulu time, there were lava flows north of the caldera, or the crater, but they weren't affecting populated areas. The eruption is still ongoing. Here's a thermal camera showing Mount Aloha's caldera as viewed from the northwest rim. Orange is close to 500 degrees. So let's first discuss what Mount Aloha actually is, and then the conditions actually going on right now that residents are facing. There are five volcanoes that form the archipelago of Hawaii. Mount Aloha is the biggest, and actually formed the big island to begin with. It's the largest above water volcano in the world and has a volume of 18,000 cubic miles. It's a stratovolcano, which means it's rather gently sloping. Basically, it's kind of drippy, kind of oozy, and as a result, you get gentle slopes. Its summit towers about 13,679 feet above sea level, or a little more than two and a half miles high. Since 1840, it's erupted eight times, most recently in 1984. Before that, there was an eruption back in 1942. So why is it there in the first place? After all, most volcanoes form on the interface between tectonic plates. But Hawaii is a little bit special. It's smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Plate. No boundaries or anything, subduction zones nearby. But Hawaii sits over a mantle plume, or an area where molten material makes a little bit higher in Earth's crust. That creates a hot spot that can give rise to volcanoes. They're like crestal pimples. Over time, the Pacific Plate has been moving. So you get one volcano, the plate moves a little bit, and a new volcano emerges over the hot spot. Then the plate moves again, and so on. That's why Hawaii is an archipelago, basically a conga line of volcanoes, kind of a string of islands, made by the same hot spot. So let's say this lighter is a hot spot. This is the Pacific Plate. As we move the Pacific Plate over the hot spot over tens of thousands of years, suddenly you can very easily get an archipelago to form. So what's going on now? Well, here's the initial eruption from last night as seen from infrared satellite. Here's another wavelength we use to detect wildfires. It also doubles to help us with volcanoes. Now, there were toxic gases released by the volcano, and they're still venting up there, but that's only an issue at the summit. In other words, we're not expecting any adverse issues for population centers to be impacted. Schools on the Big Island were actually in session on Monday. Apropos to ashfall, there was a volcanic ashfall advisory in effect for the gray area to about 10 a.m. Hawaii time, including the Big Island. Concern was there for potential respiratory impacts. The National Weather Service warned that anyone outdoors should wear a cloth mask or face covering. We do know that most of the ash cloud has worked northeast of the Big Island per satellite data. It could still be an issue for mariners with the light accumulation of ashfall possible on vessels. The Aviation Weather Center, meanwhile, is warning pilots not to fly near that cloud. Ash can't be seen on radar because it's so fine, which is part of what makes it so dangerous, but the other issue is it can quickly melt in a crete onto turbines and just really kind of goop them up. That can take down planes, but also is a danger to equipment even on the ground. A few folks northeast of the volcano may also notice some weird super thin glass filaments in the air. These are called Pele's hair. It's good to wear goggles or safety glasses just in case those start wafting through the breeze. That glass can also scratch your vehicle's paint job, and if you get any in the windshield, you don't want to turn your wipers on. Just kind of wait for them to blow off or take a microfiber cloth and get them off that way. Of course, a very weird event and certainly not one we're expecting on this particular Monday, but there's never a dull moment in weather or volcanology. Keep it to my radar on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here in the My Radar app. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.